On the 5th of September, DJI is set to release the Neo, one of their most leaked new drone releases of quite some time. Now, this has always appeared to be a sort of a mini Avata or an Avata 2, and whilst DJI are still playing their little game of trying to reveal it secretly on their website, the reality is we now know an awful lot about this drone. There's not only been leaked images, there's been leaked video, and today we now have a manual. Now, alongside the manual comes a lot of learning about features, a lot of learning about capabilities, but also about learning of some restrictions and things that may not make this drone ideal for you. Now on their social media pages, they obviously have lots of things like you see here, hinting at what this might be. But the reality is we already have lots of leaks, lots of info about this drone already. There are lots of posts by Jasper Ellins and others, not only talking about the drone, but there's even video from the drone available online as well. Right now, the Neo is looking like an entry-level drone that's going to offer a bit of a hybrid between a traditional camera drone and an FPV drone. Now, today, we have seen the release of the manual for this drone as well, which tells us about all of the nice features and capabilities. It also tells us about some of the limitations, and as always with DJI, there is a few gotchas that you're going to need to be aware of. And the first of these gotchas is whilst the Neo does have a manual mode, you can only use it in combination with the DJI FPV Remote version 3. It seems the standard kit for the Neo is going to come with the DJI RC N3. That remote will allow you to use all of the standard flight modes apart from manual mode. You're going to have to go out and buy the FPV Remote version 3 separately if you want manual flight capability. Now, the reason for this is likely that this remote has the ability to convert its throttle into manual control, which means they take away the spring, whereas the RCN3 won't. And as a result of that, DJI are going to want you to go out and spend another $130 or $40, whatever the price of this thing was, and it is well overpriced, I will add, before you will be able to fly in manual mode. Now, I had a real feeling DJI was going to do this, and it turns out it is the case. It's annoying because as I've said already, this remote is way overpriced for what it is. It will be okay for people like me who already have this remote, but for people who don't, you're going to not only end up having to buy the drone with that normal kit if you want a remote out the door, and then you're going to have to go and buy this one separately. Hopefully, and it isn't 100% confirmed yet, that DJI may sell the drone as a standalone, like they do with their others, including the Avata 2, and that would allow you to be able to just go and buy the drone, and if you already have this remote, you won't have to worry about having that RCN3. But the downside to not having that RCN3 is the fact that you can't then connect your smartphone to this and use it as a display. If you want the full functionality from this drone, you are going to end up needing not only the standard remote controller, but this remote controller as well. Now, the second big gotcha is also around manual mode as well, and it's the fact that this doesn't appear to be a full acro mode, and instead it is rather limited in its capabilities. If we read what DJI have written, they say the DJI Neo can be used as an entry-level drone for manual mode. It is suitable for practicing throttle control, maintaining altitude and level flight, but not for continuous high-speed flights and high maneuverability actions such as dive, split S, power loop, and yaw spin. Otherwise, the attitude of the aircraft may be unable to be controlled due to propulsion limit. Now, this sounds like what DJI introduced on the Avata 1 when people were having all of the issues with them falling out of the sky, and that also appeared on the Avata 2, is that if you push it too hard, it simply restricts the movement and flips it back into a self-level flight mode. Right now, it is not clear how underpowered or how sensitive this Nanian feature is going to be. However, it is clear from the way the Avata 2 flies that DJI are going to be limiting the propulsion speed. And if you are hoping to buy a small drone that you can use as an acro drone, beware, because DJI are pretty much saying this isn't it. 
One last thing I want to mention about the Neo is FPV goggles. We know this drone will work with FPV goggles, but what is quite interesting is DJI seem to have gone out of their way to specifically not say in the manual what goggles will work with this drone. Now, we do believe there is a new budget goggle on the horizon. I don't know if it's going to launch on the 5th with this drone. I don't believe it will. I don't even know if DJI are going to mention it on the 5th. But what is interesting is in the manual, they are very clear in saying what remote controllers work. But when it comes to goggles, all they say is goggles. When you read it, they say when using goggles, they say compatible goggles. But at no point do they actually say what the goggle is that actually works. And to me, this is a bit of a hint that DJI is still working on this element of this drone. My belief is there will be support added on the Goggles 3, but the proper goggle for this is going to be a budget goggle. I don't know how budget that's going to be. That will be released in the future. But today, there really is no other information about it other than that. But it's just amusing to see DJI go out of their way to not confirm what the support actually is. Alongside the manual, there's also been a few videos released over the last few days. I'm just watching this one here from JasperLNX27 on Twitter, X as I should call it, and I'll let you hear this for yourself. It's a sound that you want to get used to because you're going to be seeing these things all over the place, especially at what I think the price point is going to be. It's going to be a very popular drone, but man, you're going to hear it. Not nice. So today the Neo is looking to be an entry level FPV drone for new users and it is not going to be a smaller and lighter drone for most existing FPV pilots. That isn't to say you may not get some enjoyment or some good use from it but what I would suggest is you read the manual and fully understand what it's capable of first before rushing out and getting sucked into the marketing videos and DJI's marketing on release day. Now, it is clear to me that DJI is building a bit of an ecosystem around this. This drone to me is a bit of a, a hook and line to suck people into FPV. You buy the drone package to get you going. And then if you want to fly manual mode, you've got to go out and buy this. And then a little bit later, they'll probably release these new budget FPV goggles that you're going to want to use with this as well. Probably I can see DJI end up releasing a bit of a package of the FPV Remote 3 and these budget goggles together as an upgrade kit for this new drone. DJI here are trying to build a new market. They're not trying to serve the existing market. And what they will likely do is deliver a drone at a very low price to entice people in. And then they will release a range of accessories around that to allow people to spend more money and do more things like the FPV Remote 3, like a set of budget FPV goggles. Now, it isn't clear today if we're going to hear anything about these new goggles when DJI launched the Neo on the 5th. They may talk about it. They may not. I'm not aware that these goggles are going to launch on the 5th as well. It just isn't clear yet if DJI will mention it as a future product or not. Here and now, it looks like compatibility is only going to be with the goggles 3. And then these new goggles will come a little bit later. As I've said already, probably in some flat more package or fly manual more package where you get this remote and the goggles or you get the drone the remote the goggles they will set it up so there is a nice clear path for people to be able to spend more money they'll get you in cheap and then they'll get you hook line and sinker and then you'll spend more and more and build up what you've got now, that is it from me on this one. I hope you have found it useful. It's just a PSA. The manual link will be in the description. Please do make sure you have a read of it. Hopefully, you found this video useful. And if you have, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. I will be buying the Neo. I will be buying the goggles when they come out. And I will only be able to do that through the support of the people who support the channel. So if you'd like to support me as well, please do consider having a look. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.